flyweight division title. All right, so here she is, the UFC women's flyweight contender looking to become the new UFC women's flyweight champion here tonight. And most people believe she has all the skills in the world to get the job done and change the complexion of this division moving forward. Let's see what type of championship performance she can put forth here tonight. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is gonna take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, presenting the challenger, Jessica Evil Eye. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the defending All right, so round one is underway. It's going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out. She wanted to test herself against one of the best strikers in this division, but that would not appear to be the path of least resistance. She believes that her full mixed martial arts game is what's going to allow her to win this fight. It's a close fight, though, because she's never seen anyone with the striking ability of her opponent. Oh, beautiful jab by her there. You know, we referenced her reach advantage on the tail of the tape. She certainly made good use of it there. Oh, she blocks the punch. Ooh, what a punch. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Powerful leg kick lands. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Back and forth we go! Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Straight punch lands. 
Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that tough. So just over 20 total strikes and counting that have now landed for Jessica I. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard, a lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position for defensive boxing. Big body kick. Now connects with a right. Oh, and now an elbow up top by Jessica I. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand. So again, they will clinch. Nice jab by her there, and another one for good measure. So before her opponent can reset, she doubles up on the jab. She does a fantastic job of popping that jab right behind her. Now she's finding so much success that she's landing double. Fire there, DC, and now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get after her now to try to find that kill shot that's gonna finish the night. Again, she chooses to clinch here. All right, nice job, Byer, to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice jab by I. Back and forth we go here. Oh, that hook landed the round. All right, so that's the end of the round. That cut on the nose, manageable earlier. Not so much right now. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor. And you got to think at some point, if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue Great. to do the same thing Good. and expect a different result. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Great punch, landing so much power. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Pretty good right hand. That dad big strike. Wow! Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. And we got a fight on our hands. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jessica E. So how about this, champ? We got a 